Oh, take it. <laughs> Talk about pint-sized. I didn't know he had demons this small. We're not demons. You're... you're actually cups? I don't believe you. How did someone like you get mixed up in the devil's business? We lost a bet at the casino. The devil said he'd spare us if we collected all of his outstanding contracts. Ha! What's our luck? I always knew there was something hinky about that place. Did you lose a bet too? No. Ever since I was a little girl, I was fascinated by the stars. Maybe a little too much. That's what everyone said. But I didn't care. I was always told there wasn't a practical need for astronomers on the islands. And I didn't want to leave Inkwell. They did wind up building an observatory here, but I studied meteorology and was finished with school by that time. I landed a job writing the weather reports for the Inquisitor. I was also occasionally hired to teach science lessons, though not many. It was so tedious. Have you ever noticed that Inkwell's weather is perfect almost all the time? And it was obscure. I always dreamed of discovering something big, you know? Something that would change the world. I guess when you look at the universe so extensively, you start to feel small. Insignificant. I figured that maybe I was following the wrong path entirely. I'm far more of an observer than an innovator, and Inkwell's resources can be pretty limited. The Inkwell Inquisitor is one of Rumor Honeybottom's enterprises. It doesn't sell as well as the Honeycomb Herald and isn't taken as seriously. I've always been all about discovery. I figured investigative journalism might be up my alley and more relevant. But that was easier said than done. Ruma really doesn't trust many people outside her hive regarding the Herald. If any at all. Sugar, your role seems small, but it really isn't. Think about it. Your reports are one of the first things people look at every morning. And you're fantastic at your job. You're hardly ever wrong. Believe me, every worker in any organization is important. You're exactly where I need you to be, honey. So stick with it, is what you're saying. Get out of my office, sugar. I wasn't ready to give up. I thought if I could find a good enough story, I could change her mind. I kept hearing strange rumors. Couldn't hurt to take a look around the place, right? Besides the cheery ambience, I should have figured there was a reason no reporters from the Herald had been sent there. <laughs> Poor lost soul. She doesn't realize what kind of game she just bought into. Evening. Does your employer know you're here, Miss Berg? Ha <laughs> This is some hospitality, saving me from having to make idle chit-chat. Only problem is, I don't know you. I asked first. Does she? Can't a gal catch a little action on her day off? <laughs> the Inquisitor pays you for your noteworthy contributions? I don't think so. Well, I never. We do have an entertainment section, by the way. Yes, but that's not why you're here, either. You're very intelligent, I can tell. It's a shame some people want to stifle brilliance of your calibre. What are you buttering me up for? I should have known that you were even too sharp for that. I won't waste your time then. You have grand ambitions, and I admire that. But while you don't have lack of vision, you're missing the proper tools and perspective. I can help. For a price, that is. Now hold on a minute, Buster. How do you know anything about me? Clearly you know Ruma. Was she talking about me? I'll show you. I can give you a very special gift. Something that would give you an advantage no matter the path you choose. How much do you know about magic? Very little. It's its own science in a way. It has its own boundaries and laws, but it's more volatile than, say, something like physics. I wasn't born with natural capacity and I never considered it to be practical to my work anyway. On the contrary, you could find something like true sight to be very useful. What? Are you going to start pulling tricks on me now? This ought to be a laugh. Show me what you got. What I saw was... Incredible doesn't even begin to describe it. He essentially showed me a blueprint of the entire universe. I can't remember most of it. I don't think any ordinary mind would be capable of containing that much information. <sighs> <sighs> so, what do you think of that? 
Of course, I'd have to limit your access. You're sharp, but we want you to keep your sanity. But it's the deal of a lifetime. No one else on the planet will know what you will know. All for a simple, one-time cost. Except, and people will know your name. Yes, anything you want, yes. Let's discuss payment then. How could I care about petty casino rumors after that? And what was one measly soul compared to potentially advancing our entire society? The thrill of discovery alone almost made my deal worth it. Over time, though, I realized I wasn't given what I really wanted. Hail the honey, all I want from you is if it's going to rain and if it's going to be dark before everyone gets home. That's all, honey. I had the answers, but I couldn't show my work. I had the knowledge, but couldn't sell it. Couldn't properly explain it to anyone else. Even Dr. Call. Do you know him? He's a friend of mine. He fine-tuned the radio sounds I used to gather atmospheric data. He is by far the smartest person I've ever met, yet he still didn't understand anything I had to say. I discovered that I could see the future with true sight, but not always interpret it correctly. Looking at the future with true sight is like looking at the end of a frayed thread. I can tell you which thread we're more likely to follow, but likely isn't certain. My name was beginning to be known all right, and in the complete opposite way I had hoped. The devil told me right to my face, no one else on the planet will know what you will. Maybe I'd just been too stunned after my first vision to really think about what I was getting into. Maybe I'm just as foolish as people are saying. It did have an interesting side effect. I may not have been born with magical power, but you'd never know. Science and magic are different things. But the more you understand the physics behind a particular element, the easier it is to control with magic. It was fun to experiment with, but it did happen to show at inconvenient times. I confronted him about what was happening to me. All he said was, I gave you the tools to succeed, it's up to you to use them correctly. I don't know if he influenced my true sight when I used it on him, but whether he did or not, I'm pretty sure I know who he really is now. I shut myself up at the observatory, trying to make sense of everything. Like I said, when you look at the universe for such a long time, you start to feel small, insignificant. It never occurred to me to read my own future. It was then realized that the devil would be collecting his debt sooner than later. Much sooner.